Oh, whoa. That was beautiful. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, he just rolls through the ball. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, peace. Oh shit. Piece of pad. Welcome to the Zen Zone. Have a nice little show for you today. Gonna be mostly riding footage. I like putting out riding footage. I know that doesn't get as much views, but there is some nice wipeouts coming out in this footage and some sweet off roading. And we're gonna be talking about some cool things. First, Shout out to Clark. He has hooked me up with the new Generation 3 foam pads, which are $99 more affordable than other pads. You saw in that quick clip how Doc Zangs, he had the kinetic pads and they kept coming off and he kept losing them and we kept having the search for them. It was like a little treasure hunt. Kind of broke the flow of running. Not too great. The Clark pads have more surface area. He definitely, he upgraded to a different type of pad. After that, he stopped using the kinetics because because for off-roading, when you go down and you're losing your little pads everywhere, it gets annoying. So, Shout out to Clark. I wanted to show you guys. These are the ones. It says $149 on the website. Make sure you get them for $99. It is a great price. The Velcro is included. Also, he has pedals. He has fairings. He has the all the things that you need to upgrade your EUC. He's been around. I think he was the first guy to really start making EUC upgrades and add-ons and whatnot. So give him a shout. Giving him a shout out. And I'm thankful for the pads. I hope he, I wish him continue, continual success. All right, let's go ahead and get into the writing footage. First off, I wanted to address the true to one New York drama. Guys, if you create videos, it's like you automatically create haters. <laughs> doesn't matter how good your content is, what you're doing, it doesn't matter. The more you create and the more successful you are creating, the more people are going to hate you. That's just, I don't understand. I wish it wasn't people in the community that were hating on the creators. I feel like community, we should all kind of unite because we're all doing this crazy, weird new thing. We're like the beta testers. We are we are really on the cutting edge of this new technology and we should be supporting yeah. each other in every way. I've had my own issues with haters in the past. It's, it's really, I don't honestly, I don't think anyone's put out more videos than me consistently. Like if you add up all my TikToks and Facebooks and YouTube videos, nobody has put out more content than me. And I've definitely had my fair share of haters. It is kind of nice to not be in the spotlight with the haters right now. Uh, I heard the telegram, the true to one telegram is just going crazy right now. And really I feel for those guys and those guys, man, they create some of the most inspiring content. Black Elroy's videos where he has like the futuristic mask. I really think if they continue creating content, they'll be like the first guys to be in like a Hollywood movie because Hollywood's going to take notice or, you know, some like Netflix type show is going to want UC writers and they're going to see the true to one's content. And they're going to be like, those are the guys. I want to be true to one. I want to be in those movies. <laughs> I think they're making awesome awesome content but we'll say don't apologize to the haters don't give them any power over you because it's something i learned the hard way trying to like make men's with them they're always almost always going to be a hater i'm not saying people can't change but it seems to me that the haters are always going to be haters they're not able to get past their their jealousy or whatever causes them to hate they just can't get past it so don't apologize to them and just get rid of them cut them out of your life cut the cord Get them out of your group. Once you identify who they are, if they're not a creator. If they're not creating positive energy in your groups, just get rid of them. And one day, they'll probably be in the bleachers while you are center stage performing in front of thousands, if not millions. All right, I am here with Doc Zang on the T4, which are super nice, grippy, and the barbecue fairings. Those are upgrades I do recommend for your T4 because you're going to see how many times he dumps it. If you're doing off-road riding like we are here, you're going to want some protection for your wheel. Now, the subject I really want to talk about in this video is off-roading versus street riding. I feel that off-roading is taking over. Like, we are all going to be, not all, but like, their off-roading is growing because there is almost nothing funner than hitting a nice flow trail, having suspension on your UC, and you just smoothly are gliding along. Bumps don't matter. Hills don't matter. You got the power. You know, I was riding with some one wheelers too, and their GT is a very nice upgrade. Still not even close to the power we have. But here I'm riding with Spencer. He's not even on a GT. When it's like a flow trail and there's lots of turns, 
the heavier weight of the EUC is actually a disadvantage. And plus one wheeling, I think it looks cool. <laughs> looks more aesthetic. It's like Silver Surfer just gr gliding along on the dust. I really like the aesthetic of one wheels. And a huge shout out to the 702 One Wheel Group on Facebook here in Vegas. I think they are one of the best groups that I've ever win ridden with. They're all pure fun and they take care of each other and they look out for each other. And Spencer, in this video, we're on David Flowey. He introduced me to this trail. So they know some of the best trails. I mean, all the Vegas locals know some of these awesome trails. And he's not even on a GT in this video. I can't even imagine how much faster he would be on a GT. Another advantage of riding a one wheel over at EUC is you're not as high up. It's a lighter. It's much lighter. And if you crash, it tends you don't need to wear as much gear because your crashes aren't as high up and as hard because it doesn't have all that power. So your crashes, you don't need to gear up like me, like RoboCop here. You can wear a lot less gear. You don't need a full face helmet as much. Although I'm, I think there are some instances where you may want to wear one, which is another reason why off-roading I think is uh, a lot funner than riding on the street is one, you get out of nature. Two, I see most of the injuries I see, the bad injuries on EUCs are on the street, whether they're riding in traffic, Recently, guy cut out on his Monster Pro and flew through yeah. three lanes of traffic. Nice. It's not something you have to worry about when you're off-roading. Although, if you're on a cliff or a ledge, you can dump your EUC off the side and it's gone. And you may Another dump your body off the side. Just Hopefully not. This rocky a lot of guys use yeah. leashes. I've never really used it. Fine. But if you're on a lot of cliffs or places where you see my dump off the side, you uh, may I want think it's most unstoppable. Really, you, you can almost go anywhere on these EUCs. doesn't matter. The Master, the T4, they both have enough power to pretty much do everything you need. The T4 suspension, I think, is a little bit better than the Master's. He's able to hit jumps and not bottom out at all. Whereas, actually, I didn't bottom out on any of these jumps either but I wasn't hitting it as hard as I could. I also don't have fairings on my master, so I'm not trying to break my master before the race because quite frankly, I can't afford another one right now. It's $3,200 for a master and yeah, that's a pretty hefty price. Don't want to break it. I don't have any sort of warranty on my master. So I take it easy, let Dog Zang do all the work. He definitely is one of the most outrageous riders I've ridden with. I love riding with him. He is, he's all exuberance and fun and passion it's nice to ride with people like that. There isn't any hate in this guy. He's all about having fun. All right, Bal Sprite on IG. This guy is blown up on IG and TikTok. He has some of the coolest lights on his S22, and he let me ride his S22 on this ride, but they joined us for the second session. We call this is the red jumps. None of us is really good jumpers, but we're practicing, and we like to come out here and have fun. We also have Zuma with us. He is on the EXN. It has the lower pedals. He couldn't really do the jumps as much, but he was able to keep up with us. Dude's a legend, man. He kept up with all the uh, suspension EUCs on this ride. Did want to mention the new S22 upgrades. I made a video about the new board, the new batteries, and the new motor. I am skeptical that I've heard that the, these new upgrades are coming on the latest batch. That So if you have an S22 that you have reserved, that you're getting all these new upgrades. I do not believe this, guys. I will not believe it until somebody shows me that the S22 has more power, that the board has more MOSFETs, and the batteries are improved. I will not believe it till I see it. However, if it is true, and I hope it is, you're gonna get a sweet piece of kit, and hopefully you can order those parts as well. But again, I'm not hopeful. King Song has let me down this year, and they have let many people down as well. So quickly, the three EUCs that I recommend for off-roading like we're doing here, either the Master if you're better on the heavier side or you want that more power, more range. Like I rode all the way here on the street and then rode with the group and then rode all the way back home on the street. Sweet wheel. I think it's the best wheel of 2022. Then I would go with the T4 as a medium-sized wheel, easier to jump, better suspension. S22, best suspension but least amount of power. Hopefully the upgrades come out. Those are the only three EUCs I would recommend for off-roading right now. Drone footage is from my new Skydio 2 Plus. Had to buy a new Skydio. I don't know if I've talked about that in previous Bye. videos, but they wanted $850 to repair my Skydio 1, which wasn't in that bad of shape. And it's only $300 more to get a new one and get a new warranty. So I went ahead, got the Skydio 2. I think the footage looks great. I, I, I'm kind of known for having the Skydio, so I felt empty without it. <laughs> Definitely a great drone. It's the only drone that really has good tracking. Although I've heard some of the DJIs have good tracking if you just want rear tracking, like if it's just behind you, it's not too bad. The Skydio, you can position to your left, your right. You have like a clock dial where you can position it where you like. 
I do have a, a discount code for the Skydio 2 if you need it. It gets you $50 off, but you can find those discount codes online just as easily. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I put a lot of work into my videos, and I hope to keep putting out videos for you. I am taking off ads now. I'm not putting ads. I'm not monetizing my YouTube videos. I hope that makes the videos flow better for you so you're not getting any ads. Personally, I pay the $5 for YouTube, so I don't get ads. But I know some of you don't have that, and it's kind of annoying to get ads when you're watching some cool content. I do hope that you use my affiliate code if, you, if the video impacts you in some way. If you like the footage, if you like all the work that goes into my video videos, I have been doing really well with my affiliates, and that extra money helps me buy new drones and buy new wheels. Almost all of it goes back into the community in some way, shape, or form. Again, I guys, I hope you guys, I hope you guys and gals enjoyed this video, and until next time, stay in the Zenzo.